Welcome back. There's word of a potentially major breakthrough in stem cell research that could shift the entire debate over the subject. It comes as congressional Democrats are poised to try to increase federal funding for controversial research. Let's turn to CNN's Mary Snow. She's watching all of this in New York. She's got details of the discovery and the possible ramifications. Mary? Well, Wolf, it's a discovery that could provide an alternative to embryonic stem cell research. While it won't alter legislation proposed later this week, many say it will factor into the, into the debate, and the debate is fierce. As you might know, I care deeply about stem cell research. Michael J. Fox's election campaign ads this fall are perhaps the latest example of just how heated the debate over embryonic stem cell research can get. Fox supports the research to help unlock potential treatments for diseases like Parkinson's, from which he suffers. Critics argue embryos should not be destroyed for research. But could science be moving toward eliminating the controversy? Researchers at Wake Forest and Harvard say they've drawn stem cells from amniotic fluid that don't require destroying an embryo. These cells are actually uh, not human embryonic stem cells, and they're not adult stem cells, but they do have qualities of both. Uh, so it's a new stem cell class, if you will. A new stem cell class, but one that is just being learned about. Researchers say preliminary tests in patients are years away. Embryonic stem cell opponents are wasting no time in applauding the discovery. You do away with the ethical problems associated with embryonic stem cells, but you get all of the positives that most scientists say they want. Other scientists say not so fast and argue that embryonic stem cells are unique and hold the power to potentially cure many diseases. They're the only ones we know about that can form all 220 some different cell types that constitute the human body. Now that's remarkable. The new stem cell research comes as House lawmakers plan to introduce a bill Thursday to expand stem cell research. One of its sponsors says the latest study won't alter the debate. I do think that the study is fantastic news and I welcome it but it's not a substitute for embryonic stem cell research. This research is going on around the world and has been for seven or eight years. But some conservative observers say this latest science only further heats up the debate. I think conservative groups are going to uh, embrace the potential of stem cell research using amniotic fluid. Now, last summer, President Bush vetoed a bill to increase federal money for embryonic stem cell research. The bill has bipartisan support. The question is, if there is a veto this time, will there be enough votes to override it? Wolf? Thanks very much, Mary, for that. An important story we're watching.